Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about an exciting new AI model from Microsoft's Azure AI team called Florence 2. This vision foundation model is pushing the boundaries of what's possible in computer vision and vision language tasks. So let's jump right in. Florence 2 is a state-of-the-art vision foundation model designed to perform a variety of computer vision tasks with a unified prompt-based approach. Unlike traditional models that are tailored for specific tasks, Florence 2 can handle everything from image captioning to object detection, segmentation, and even visual grounding, all within a single model. This versatility is a significant step forward in the field of AI, making complex vision tasks more accessible and efficient. So how does Florence 2 achieve this remarkable versatility? It all starts with its architecture and training data. Florence 2 uses a sequence-to-sequence -sequence or CQ2-CQ architecture. This means it has an image encoder that processes visual data and a multimodal encoder decoder that integrates both visual and textual information. Essentially, it translates image content into text form based on the task prompt you provide. The magic happens during training. Florence 2 is pre-trained on a massive dataset called FLD5B, which includes 5.4 billion annotations across 126 million images. These annotations were generated using an iterative process of automated image annotation and model refinement, ensuring high quality and comprehensive data. Training Florence 2 involves multitask learning, where the model learns to perform various vision tasks simultaneously. This approach not only makes the model more versatile, but also improves its generalization capabilities, allowing it to adapt to new tasks with minimal fine tuning. Now let's talk benchmarks. Florence 2 has set new standards in several key areas. In zero shot performance, it achieved state of the art results in tasks like image captioning on the Coco dataset, visual grounding on Flickr 30K, and referring expression comprehension on Ref Coco Plot CG. This means the model can perform these tasks accurately without any task-specific training. When fine-tuned with human annotated data, Florence 2 competes with and even surpasses larger specialist models. For example, it set new state-of-the-art benchmarks on RefCoco Pi G. On downstream tasks, such as object detection and segmentation on the Coco and ADE 20K datasets, Florence 2 outperformed both supervised and self-supervised models. It improved training efficiency by four times compared to models pre-trained on ImageNet and achieved 6.9, 5.5, and 5.9 points higher on Coco and ADE 20K using frameworks like Mask RCNN, Dino, and UperNet. Let's dive deeper into its performance on detailed captioning and grounding tasks. Florence 2 excels at understanding both spatial hierarchy and semantic granularity. This means it can provide detailed captions that capture not only the main objects in an image, but also their relationships and contexts. For instance, it can describe an image with nuanced details like a woman riding a bike next to a red car on a tree-lined street, capturing both the objects and their spatial arrangement. For grounding tasks, Florence 2 can accurately link textual descriptions to specific regions within an image. This is crucial for applications like visual search and interactive AI systems, where precise localization of objects based on text is needed. In benchmarks like visual grounding on Flickr 30K, Florence 2's performance was unparalleled, showing its capability to handle complex, fine-grained vision tasks with ease. In summary, Florence 2 represents a significant leap forward in the field of AI. Its unified prompt-based approach, combined with a robust CQ2SEC architecture and extensive training on the FLD5B dataset, allows it to excel across a wide range of vision tasks, whether it's zero-shot performance, fine-tuning, or handling detailed captioning and grounding, Florence 2 sets new benchmarks and opens up exciting possibilities for the future of AI. Currently, Florence 2 are available to run through coding via the linking up with Hugging Face repo. You can check out the Google Colab Jupyter Notebook example code. Link provided in the video description. Second method is running this AI model in ComfyUI. I will have another video to walk through how to run this in ComfyUI with various scenarios. The second one we are going to talk about is the DeepSeq Coder New Language Model. 
As we have talked about their previous model before in this channel, DeepSea Coder is a well-known LLM for coding and math. The data set to train this model are specified in programming languages. Some say the GitHub contents are its data set. Now, the DeepSeek Coder V2 released. DeepSeek Coder V2 is an open source mixture of experts, MOE, code language model developed by DeepSeek AI. It's designed to push the boundaries of what's possible with open source models in code specific tasks. The team behind this model has done an incredible job, and today we're going to break down exactly how it works. So let's get into some more in-depth of what makes DeepSeek Coder V2 tick. This model comes in two variants with 16 billion and a whopping 236 billion parameters. But don't worry about those large numbers bogging down your system. Thanks to its mixture of experts architecture, it only activates 2.4 billion and 21 billion parameters, respectively, during computation. This efficient design supports a wide range of computational and application needs. The pre-training data is a massive 10.2 trillion tokens, sourced from a diverse mix of 60% code, 10% math corpus, and 30% natural language corpus. The code data alone spans 338 programming languages, sourced from GitHub and Common Crawl. If you're into numbers, that's 1,270 billion tokens of source code and 221 billion tokens of math-related content. One of the standout features is its extended context length. DeepSeek Coder V2 can handle up to 128,000 tokens compared to the 16,000 tokens supported by previous models. This means it can manage more complex and extensive coding tasks, making it incredibly versatile. Now let's talk performance. DeepSeek Coder V2 doesn't just boast impressive specs on paper, it delivers in real-world benchmarks too. In code generation tasks, it scores an impressive 90.2% on Human Evil and 76.2% on MBPP. These are state-of-the-art results that really show how well this model can handle code-specific tasks. It also excels in newer benchmarks, like Live Code Bench, where it scores 43.4%, and it's the first open-source model to surpass 10% on SWE Bench Lite. These figures are a testament to its robust capability in handling real-world coding scenarios. But it's not just about coding. DeepSeek Coder V2 also shines in mathematical reasoning. It achieves a remarkable 75.7% .7 on the math benchmark, nearly matching the top scores of some of the best closed source models out there. This model is a powerhouse for both coding and math. All right, let's address the elephant in the room. How does DeepSeek Coder V2 stack up against heavyweights like GPT-40? Well, in terms of coding and math tasks, it not only holds its own but often surpasses GPT-40, Claude 3 Opus and Gemini 1.5 Pro. This is a huge leap for the open source community. While GPT 4.0 is known for its general language processing prowess, DeepSeek Coder V2 has shown superior performance in specialized tasks like coding and mathematical reasoning. It achieves this with a combination of extensive pre training, advanced alignment techniques, and innovative reinforcement learning methods. In summary, DeepSeek Coder V2 is a game changer in the open source AI community. It bridges the gap between open source and closed source models, offering a powerful tool for developers and researchers alike. If you're into AI encoding, this is definitely a model to watch. Now you can download this model through Hugging Face if you're using local text gen web UI, LM Studio, or any language model tools. Also, Olama users are also available to download via one single command prompt. DeepSeek Coder official website are available to run this model if you don't have a GPU that fulfill language model performance. That's all for today, everyone. If you enjoyed this deep dive talk about large language model embedding and all kinds of AI tools, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more AI updates. Hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Keep inspiring. See ya.